second and Sophie Princess has got to them and the runs were coming finishing hard was Val's regard uh, 13 Brava Brava is close up there just ahead of the Jean Royale which has run officially fourth in front of number two which is Yakama so uh, a terrific finish here but Sophie Princess of Bolter number 16 written by Michael Rod for Pompey Court from Stinging Rutter and pays 51 nine. Well, in New South Wales, 16 Sophie Princess, 34 30 and $8.30 over 18 Val's Regard, 22 60 13 Brava Brava, $4.10. Quinella, $1,224.30. The Exactor returns a dividend of $1,542.40. The Trifecta on 16 18 13 is $43,017.90. And 90 cents. The first four not won, and a $13,744 jackpot will carry across to the Cannon Sprint for the Mares. That race comes up, race four, at 12.40. We'll have margins, times, and weight after race number three at Flemington shortly. Correct weight Sydney on 1269. Correct weight race one Morfordville on 12.56 and three. Correct Weight is brought to you by VB Stubbies and your local Pub Mart Hotel. There's one near you. The good times got a Pub Mart. Pub Mart. You're listening to 2KY and the Sky Racing Network on this first Tuesday in November, Melbourne Cup Day. It's now 12 noon. Now the early figures race up. They're off. Great start for the roar of the crowd. And Quick Ransom on the inside was one of the first to jump out with Sweet Glory and out Pompeii. And a Gossip's in behind them going forward, followed by here that Bellin Oppressor. And Elcove is prominent as they come down the straight the first time, being followed closely by River Verdon. Deeper on the track then is Pindy and over on the outside, Gold Sovereign is going up in a hurry. They're followed by Jeune. I think coming down to the winning post the first time, I was able to kick up, hold my ground put myself into a winning position there. Then at the home turn, I had to go for a winning run, and I probably got there a little bit sooner than I wanted to, but if I hadn't have gone when I did, I wouldn't have got that run. I got to the front a bit too soon, but in the end, it was a happy result. June there on the inside, Elko putting in a run. It was just a fairy tale story when I got the run down the running. But it's June for the Melbourne Cup. Jern is well clear and Jern wins the race by a length and a half Paris line. It's something you always dreamed about. I think whether you're a trainer, jockey, strapper, anyone, that just wants to go in and win one race in Australia or anywhere in the world is the Melbourne Cup. My coming from country, from up the Hammer Valley, just to, was always my childhood dream and be able to fulfil that was just something that was just magic. I could just highly recommend it. What a story this is with Wayne Harris. Just tremendous. You know, you just can't, it's like a fairy tale for him, I would think. Yes, yeah, so a look back at uh, the year that uh, Sky Racing's Wayne Harris won the Melbourne Cup on Jeun. It was 1994, trained by David Hayes, who's back from Hong Kong with a runner this year, uh, Helen Vitality. We'll be talking to Wayne in just a moment at Randwick. The first into life this Thursday on Sky. At Flemington, the flowers bloom, and the three-year-old fillies bask in the sunshine with the running of the time-honoured Group 1 Oaks. The Group 2 Emirates Classic also takes centre stage. Join us for a glorious day of spring racing this Thursday, live at your Sky Channel Bubble Club.